Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Giant Crystal Dinosaur Eggs Paleontologists in China have just discovered a collection of dinosaur eggs the size of cannonballs. Even more amazing is that the dinosaur eggs are filled with shiny crystals. Oh yeah, and the fossilized eggs were laid by a totally new species of dinosaur. Surprise! Researchers were able to identify the new species thanks to the unique size of the eggs, the eggshell itself, the shape of the eggs, and even their arrangement. Although we know the eggs were laid by a mysterious species of dinosaur, we don't know all the details about what kind of prehistoric creature it was. We just know that it's new. Unfortunately, it's almost impossible to determine what species laid a particular egg because the embryo is rarely ever preserved. All we have to go on are sizes and shapes. Using that method, scientists have identified approximately 16 families of egg-laying dinosaurs and 35 genera. This new species, based on what little information we have, was an herbivore. It likely walked on two legs and stood anywhere between 6 and 30 feet tall. This mystery monster laid its eggs during the Upper Cretaceous period, right before the asteroid impact 66 million years ago that killed the dinosaurs. As for the eggs being filled with crystal, amazingly, that's a perfect normal process. When the calcium carbonate separated from the eggshell structure, it was deposited on the internal surface and gradually formed crystals. This is the same material used in animals to strengthen their bones, teeth, and claws. Number 9. Egyptian Jewelry at the ancient Tel El Amarna necropolis in Egypt, a team of researchers recently discovered some jewelry from 3,300 years ago. According to the recent announcement from the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, the team discovered the burial plot of a young woman at the northern section of the cemetery. She was wearing an impressive number of jewels, including a beaded gold necklace and rings made from gold and soapstone. The necropolis itself was built around 1346 to accommodate the dead from the city of Amarna. That was the capital city built under the rule of Pharaoh Akhenaten of the 18th dynasty. This was the same crazy pharaoh who introduced a new religion called Atenism. The new religion involved worshipping only a single sun god named Aten, while the other deities were to be forgotten. He created his own religion, then tried to abolish the gods that Egyptians had been worshipping for thousands of years. The Atenism debacle didn't go well and ended with the city of Amarna being abandoned and many of its people dying. But during the short time that people lived here, the Tel El Amarna necropolis housed their remains. This particular woman, found decked out in jewelry, was in a place that catered to lower and middle class citizens. One of her rings features the Egyptian god Bess, god of fertility, humor, and childbirth. The other ring has hieroglyphic symbols that say, the lady of the two lands. Number 8. Modern Mammals Scientists have made some serious headway in uncovering the origins of human life. Thanks to some fossilized remains of an ancient mammal relative, paleontologists believe they may have finally identified the starting point for human evolution. It's now believed the earliest mammal ancestor began life in the southern hemisphere, not in the north like scientists previously believed. The discovery all has to do with a small collection of fossilized jawbones. Thomas Rich from Museums Victoria was one of the team members who discovered the first mysterious jawbone on a beach in Australia in 1997. The jawbone was from a small creature similar to a shrew that lived alongside dinosaurs. Over the following years, more of the same jawbones were discovered in Madagascar, India, Australia again, and Argentina. Every one of these specimens is just about identical. They all have distinctive back teeth, and they all seem to belong to the same shrew-like animal. The oldest fossils of this creature come from the southern half of the hemisphere and predate any other fossils of mammal ancestors in the north by at least 50 million years. Scientists are now saying the fossils come from the earliest ancestors of marsupials, like koala bears, and placentals, including humans. Both groups are lumped in the same category of therian mammals. The end result is that we have a starting place and time for human evolution. In the early Cretaceous, the very first therian mammal evolved on the supercontinent Gondwana. It thrived and diversified in the south for about 50 million years, then migrated north into Asia. Once there, they diversified very quickly, filling all the ecological niches the world allowed. 
Number 7. The Disc-Eyed Giants Two more giants have just been unearthed in Sardinia. It happened at the Monte Prama Iron Age burial necropolis, a site first discovered by accident in 1974 by local farmers. Those farmers came across gigantic stone sculptures, artificial constructs with huge, ringed eyes like discs. These statues have been a source of mystery, controversy, and speculation for five decades. And now, there are two more of them. Mainstream archaeologists claim the giants of Monte Brama were created by the ancient Nuragic civilization of Sardinia, but they have no idea what the purpose of the monuments was. They were built between 950 and 730 BC, about 1,000 years after the Nuragic started covering Sardinia in weird stone fortresses and high towers called Nuragae. There are still 7,000 stone towers sprinkled across the landscape, although only a handful of giants remain. Italy's cultural minister made a statement saying that two giant stone torsos were officially uncovered. When they were originally built, these megalithic statues would have held shields and weapons in their hands. Most archaeologists agree the disc-eyed giants were meant to depict warriors. There were archers, sword fighters, and boxers armed with nothing but their fists. Researchers still need time to excavate, and hopefully they'll find out even more about these mysterious stone men. And now for number 6, but first, it's shoutout time! Big thank you to Nicholas Saldivar and Rich Tigris for supporting this channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join us! Number 6. Ant Milk Scientists have just made a bizarre discovery involving some very tiny creatures. Ants and ant colonies have been the subject of scientific fascination for centuries. Ants work together to such a high degree that many scientists consider them a superorganism. But while researchers have mainly been focusing on the activities of ants and how they pool their resources and work as a single mind, nobody has bothered to look at their pupil stage. That's their metamorphosis from larvae into adults. Scientists Daniel Kronauer from Rockefeller University recently decided to study the developing bodies of young ants. He and his team discovered that the young ants create a milky substance which is then consumed by other members of the colony for nutrients. It's not a random thing that one species of ant does either, but has so far been identified in five major ant subfamilies. All these years and we had no idea that as ants go through their pupil stage, they create milk. How this was discovered is really, really fascinating. Scientists isolated ants during their pupil stage to see what was happening. They were then shocked when they started producing so much milky liquid that they were drowning in it. When the researchers allowed adult ants access to the pupil ants, the adults immediately began to guzzle the milk the young ants were creating. It's not clear exactly what the milky substance is or why it's the young ants creating it, but the substance does appear to be a major part of ant life. Number 5. Lunar Crystal Scientists may have just found a source for limitless power. Researchers in China discovered a rare moon crystal made from a very special material. This material was previously unknown to the scientific community. It appears to contain key ingredients for nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is a form of power generation with the ability to harness the strength of the sun. Funnily enough, the discovery was made on the moon. It was collected from the moon in 2020 and later analyzed by the team in China. They were only able to bring back a small collection of lunar samples. Yet these samples point to a massive amount of this new lunar crystal being present on the moon. One of the primary ingredients in the crystal is something called helium-3, an incredibly rare element on our own planet but the moon seems to be ripe with it. Scientists have estimated that just 25 tons of the material, which is small enough to fit inside a space shuttle cargo bay, could power the United States for a full year. That's a valuable $3 billion. We could, in the next few years, see major mining operations on the moon to extract this new material. Number 4. Mysterious Ancient Safe the remains of a wooden safe were excavated from a burned Roman villa in Spain. The safe would have been used just like you would use a safe today. Somebody, likely a very rich individual, used it to protect their jewelry, their important documents, and even their finest clothing. The old Roman name for the object is Arca Ferrata, which translates to Ark. 
It was discovered while archaeologists excavated a Roman house from the 4th century AD in Mitreo, western Spain. It was made mainly of wood, covered in bronze, and tucked into one of the rooms in the luxury home. Evidence showed the house caught fire about 1,500 years ago. According to Ana Maria Osorio from the archaeological heritage team, the Ark is extremely important. There are very few like it preserved from the days of the Roman Empire. Ana Maria says there are only four other such safes in Spain, plus one discovered in Pompeii, Italy. Even though the safe is relatively well preserved, it still suffered a lot of damage. It looks like the top part of the house collapsed during a fire, crushing the safe and then pushing it into the ground. It was half buried when found, and researchers initially left it there. It wasn't until later that they decided to remove the safe, which was originally fixed to the walls using iron nails. We don't know what the owner of the safe did for a living, only that they were likely very wealthy. The house had 15 rooms, including four rooms that they may have used to sell their wares, whatever those may have been. Number 3. Ivar the Boneless the first Viking raids in Ireland were around 1100 years ago in 795 AD. Once the first Viking raid happened, they continued to happen in rapid succession. The success of early Viking attacks on Ireland encouraged more frequent and more brutal attacks. Archaeologists call them hit-and-run raids, and they were frequent between the 790s and 820s. After that, Viking campaigns included leaving behind settlements. And by 902, Ivar the Boneless had founded the Yui Mar, a dynasty of Vikings. But after they were expelled from Dublin, the Irish kings began to destroy the Viking ports. People from Scandinavia started to make more permanent and unbreakable bases. But since that time, there has always been Viking blood in Ireland. One of the largest Viking places was in the Irish city of Waterford on the southeastern shore. The city has been around since it was founded by a Viking chieftain named Citric in 853 BC. Over the past 50 years, archaeologists have been finding more and more evidence of Viking activity here. Most recently, archaeologists found a harbor and a winter base at the edge of the city, which may have been the first place that Vikings lived permanently in the area. Not only that, but scientists say it could be the largest Viking settlement outside Scandinavia in the mid-800s. Number 2. The Ancestor of the Megalodon Scientists from Australia recently discovered a shark graveyard in the deep black depths of the Indian Ocean. The graveyard was found to contain fossilized teeth of an ancient shark even older than the Megalodon. This mystery shark was in fact an ancestor of the Megalodon, although maybe not nearly as terrifying. The discovery was made thanks to investigators with Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization. They trawled up the fossils of modern sharks and ancient sharks from three miles under the surface. Included in the graveyard were the teeth of the closest known relative of the Megalodon. This creature was an estimated 40 feet long, over 20 feet shorter than the Megalodon. Researchers also found teeth from great white sharks and mako sharks, both of which are alive right now. Nobody's sure why so many shark teeth were discovered at the same spot, although it does go to show just how prevalent sharks have always been in the world's oceans. The Megalodon may have been the biggest and most ferocious, but it had hundreds of ancestors that came before it, and hundreds that have come since. Number 1. The Most Ancient Civilization Want to take a guess? Indigenous Australians may just be the most ancient civilization on Earth, according to a new DNA study. The DNA has dated the origin of Indigenous Australians to 50,000 years ago, which would make them the oldest continuous human civilization ever. Scientists were able to come to this conclusion by looking at clues in the DNA of modern populations in Australia and Papua New Guinea. The results showed that their ancestors were likely the first humans to ever cross an ocean. They even had contact and relationships with an unknown species of ancient hominin. The DNA study was led by evolutionary geneticist Eski Willerslev from the University of Copenhagen. Eski says the distant ancestors of indigenous Australians were the first real human explorers. While other people's ancestors were sitting by, afraid of the world, they set out across Asia, then across the sea to populate the furthest reaches of the world. 
The researchers' findings are based on the analysis of 83 Australians and 25 Papuans, both of whom can trace their origins to the first arrivals on the continent. These ancient indigenous people remained in total isolation for about 46,000 years left alone until other groups of early humans began to arrive 4,000 years ago. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon for more amazing videos. See you later. Bye.